morning students uh, welcome to this class uh, so today we are going to learn uh, the next topic from unit 3 okay, so we have already covered rsi algorithm we have already covered uh, probability testing to check the number is prime or not okay so today we are going to uh, the next topic that is called as factoring okay the broad topic name is nothing but factoring so in this factoring we are going to learn three types of method okay how to factor a bigger number how to factor a given bigger number so today in this session we are going to cover the first method which is called as format factorization method okay the first method that we are going to learn over here is format factorization method okay so we will learn this method detail then we are going to learn the second method in the next session and the third method in the following session Okay, so the idea behind this uh, fact, format factor addition method is nothing but, okay, so we, I will identify or we will uh, uh, classify this n, okay, classify this n as a difference of two squares, okay, difference of two squares, okay, so I want to identify or I want to uh, make my n as a difference of two squares, that is nothing but, I want to make n as a difference of my two number x square minus y square. The moment I uh, differentiate my number n with respect to x square minus y square, I can write this number n as, as you know, as per the formula, x square minus y square is nothing but x plus y and x minus y. Okay. So as for the idea of this spect uh, format factorization method, I am differentiating the number n or rather I am splitting this number n with respect to x square minus y square. Okay. That n is nothing but x plus y and x minus y. Okay. So whatever I am getting as x plus y will be my first factor. Okay. Factor number 1. Okay. And whatever I am getting as x minus y, we will take it as factor number 2. Okay. So this is the basic idea. Okay. Now, when we solve this format factorization method, it is a very slow method. So, why it is called a slow method, uh, we will come to know when we solve the second method or when we try to solve the third method. Okay, it's, it is called as a slow method because the algorithm which is given for this is quite a bigger algorithm. Okay, sometimes you might get answer at step number two or step number three only, but sometimes you might need to repeat it for longer period of time. So, it will take a long time for you all to find out what is the two factors of the number given to you okay so now over here small numbers won't be given to you okay so basically a bigger number will be given. small number we can easily factorize uh, uh, using our simple factorization method but here the number that will be provided to you will be a bigger number okay so that is why we need to find out uh, the factors of a bigger number so let us jump to an example Okay, let us jump to an example and check uh, how to solve this method. Okay, now before I start with an example, let me tell you uh, in the textbook there is one method that is given to you. So I am going to solve the problem number one using the first method. Okay, the method that is provided to you in your textbook. Okay, and uh, we have discovered. Okay, so I have found out from internet one more simpler method. Okay, to calculate the uh, uh, answer. Okay, using the Summit theorem. Okay, so uh, your problem number one I am going to solve using. Uh, the method which is provided to you in your textbook okay and the second problem i'm going to solve using the uh, method which is there online okay or or i have taken it from some other book you can, you might refer some other books also the reference books which are provided to you okay so let me solve uh, example number 1 okay so let me solve example number 1 so i am taking in my example number 1 i need to find out the factors of n equals 2959 7 okay now look at this number this is a very very bigger number you won't be able to find out the factors of this number simply using the uh, uh, big uh, method that we have learned to find out the factors of the number okay so now as per your textbook let, let me solve so as per your te uh, textbook the step number one over here is nothing but i need to compute okay i need to compute n plus one square n plus two square n plus three square Okay, so on and so forth until okay until I get a perfect square until I get a perfect square. Now what do you mean by this? Okay, so step number one is to compute n plus one square, uh, n plus two square, n plus three square. So I need to continue this process until and until until unless I get this perfect 
square. Okay, so now what do we mean by this? Let us do. Okay, let us first do n plus 1 square. You know what is your n? n is nothing but 2, 9, 5, 9, 2, 7. Okay, plus 1 square. 1 square will remain as 1. So what answer are you going to get over here? Okay, 2, 9, 5, 9, 2, 8. Okay, so I need to find out square root of the number 2, 9, 5, 9, 2, 8. Okay, when I use a calculator and try to find out the square root of this number, I get the square root as somewhere as 543.99 and something something. So this is not a perfect square. I cannot call this number as a perfect square. A perfect square number should not contain any number after decimal. It should be a perfect number. Okay. Similarly, now n plus 1 I did not satisfy the condition. So as per your step number 1, this is not satisfying the equation. So I am trying to do this n plus 2 n plus 2 the whole square. Let me check whether I am getting a perfect square for this. 2, 9, 5, 9, 2, 7 plus you know what is 2 square? 2 square is nothing but 4. Okay, so when I add 4 to this, it will become 2, 9, 5, 9, okay, 3, 1. Okay, so when I calculate the square root of 2, 9, 5, 9, 3, 1, okay, 2, 9, 5, 9, 3, 1, I get, again, I will get, uh, uh, I will get a very close value. Okay, I'm, again, I am getting a very close value. 543.99 something something okay so again this is not a perfect square so what i do go to step number three okay n plus three the whole or not whole square n plus three square so two nine five nine two seven plus three square is nine so what getting over here so when i add over here i'm getting as two nine five nine three six when i try to calculate the square root of two nine five nine 3, 6, I am getting a perfect square and the square root of this number is pi 44, okay. So, so I have calculated n plus 1, I did not get a perfect square, n plus 2, I did not get a perfect square, n plus 3, I got a perfect square as pi 44. So, step number 1, you should stop at n plus 3, okay. Now, why we call it as a slow method is because, now in this particular equation, okay, in this particular expression, we have got the answer, we have got the perfect square at at, at this stage n plus 3. Sometimes you might have to repeat this n plus uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it is a very very longer method okay and it will, it will be able to find out the uh, uh, factors of a number at a very slower rate. That's why it is called as a slow method okay. Now once we find out, once we compute this okay. Now our step number 2 will be nothing but, step 2 is nothing but express, express whatever you have found out in terms of x and y. Now what will your x? Your x will be nothing but the number that you have calculated over here. Okay. And your y will be nothing but the number that you have taken over here. 3. Okay. 10 plus 3 the whole square. Okay. So what we do over here is nothing but we take x as 5 44. Okay. So we have taken x as 5 44. And we have taken y equals 3. Okay. So what I have done as per the idea of Hermit's theorem, what I need to do? I, I need to express my n in terms of x and y. Okay. So what it will become? Uh, n will be equal to x square minus y square. Okay. So my n will be become as x square that is nothing but 544 square minus y will be nothing but 3 square. Okay. Now I can express uh, this as what? x square minus y square can be written as what? x plus y and x minus y. So as per the formula, I am writing 544 plus 3, okay, and 544 minus 3, okay. So when I find out what is 544 plus 3, what is 544 plus 3 is nothing but 547, okay. So when I calculate this, it is 547, okay, and 544 minus 3 is 541. When I multiply both this number, I am getting the answer as 2959. 7 which is nothing but the n which is given to us at the start of the problem that is nothing but this value that is provided to us. So we need to find out two factors. Okay? So by doing this we have easy, easily calculated two factors of n that is nothing but one factor is 547 and the second factor is 541. Therefore we can write as therefore we can write it as okay the two factors are therefore the two factors are okay 541 and 547 okay so this way you can calculate the factor for a given number okay a very big number will be given to you and you need to calculate of two factors so this is a method that is explained in your uh, textbook okay so now
now I will show you one more method using which you can also calculate uh, what is the uh, uh, what are the factors of uh, a given number to you okay it's a very simple method you will understand so let me uh, explain the second example with respect to that so I'm taking this example number two so the given number that is uh, given to us to find out the factor is nothing but 8051 okay so what you all can do is okay what you all can do is directly step number one Okay, the step number one, what you what can do is express a as root of n. Okay, express a as root of n. Okay, so when we express a as root of n, so a is nothing but root of 8051, square root of 8051. Okay, when I calculate the square root of 8051 on uh, calculator, I get it as 89.72. So round this number 89.72 to 90. Do not take the decimal number. Because when we are, we need a perfect square. So we have taken a decimal number, okay. So we have rounded up this 89, uh, 89.72 as 90, okay. So I have got the, now, now go to the basic idea. What is the idea of your uh, formats uh, factorization method? Okay, the basic idea is think about a, uh, express n in terms of two numbers. It is x square minus y square, correct. So this is your basic idea. So over here we will take x as a and y as b, okay. So we will take x as a. So this is your step number 2. Okay, step number two, express uh, your, uh, we will take x as a and your y as b. Okay, now get this equation, a square minus y square. Okay, sorry, not y square, a square minus b square. So here I have taken it as b square. So I have taken a as x and I have taken b as uh, y. Okay, so I have replaced the values of x with a and y with b. Now, just see what values do you have now and value is given to you. Okay. A value I have already calculated that is nothing but this 90, okay, we require nothing but B. So I reframe the equation with respect to B. So what your B square become, okay, your B square will be nothing but A square minus N. I hope all of you have understood how I have taken, I have taken B square on the left hand side and I have taken A on the right hand side. So when I take B on the left hand side, it will become plus B square and it will be the, on the right hand side, it will become A square minus N. Okay, just substitute the uh, numbers a is nothing but 90 okay so 90 square minus n is nothing but 8051 okay when i found out when i find out what is 90 square i get 90 square at 8100 okay so this is not my b square i just remember this 8100 minus 8051 so when i find out the answer of this it is nothing but uh, 49 8100 minus 8051 is 49 i am getting the value of b square I will continue it over here. I am getting the value of B square as 49. So what will be for B will be what? B will be nothing but square root of 49 which is nothing but 7. So I have identified my B value as 7. So what I do now? Now go back to my uh, equation what we have done over here. So let me uh, name this equation as star 1 or even uh, name it as 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now I will just substitute this uh, values A and B. So A values we have I've taken it as 90 and B value I have got as 70. So my N will be nothing but A square minus B square. Okay, A value is nothing but 90 square minus 7 square. I can express this equation as 90 plus 7. Okay, and 90 minus 7. What is 90 plus 7 is nothing but 97. And 90 minus 7 is nothing but 83. So 97 into uh, 83. So you can multiply and check on the calculator. So I am getting the value of n as 805. Therefore we can say that factors of 8051 are 97 and 83. So this is one of the uh, simpler method which you can also use to find out the factor of a given number to you. So if it is told to you to find out the factors using uh, format factorization method, you can either go for your uh, method 1 which I told you previously which is a, which is a slower method okay? or you can find out using this method. Okay, so you get this method um, anywhere on, I have, I have taken from one of the other textbook which is uh, given to you in the syllabus. So you can solve it using other methods also. So uh, now what you can do is, right now you can solve one problem, okay, uh, and you can show me what is the answer of the problem, okay, using any of the method, either step number, uh, method 1 or method 2, you can use method 2 because it's a faster method and a simpler method to understand also. So you just find out, I'll just write this as a work problem, but I want to 
know the answers for this. It is 18923. Okay, 18923. And second one is 5724-7159. Okay. So these are the two numbers of which you need to find out the factors. Okay. So you can use either method one or method two. So that is all for this session. We will continue method number two of factoring. Okay. Other method of factoring in the next class. Thank you.